My name is Tom Thayer. I'm 61 years old and I retired from lifeguarding about a year and a half ago after 35 years working for the city as a lifeguard. You know, kind of grew up around the ocean and getting out bloating lobster as a kid and poking a few fish and just, you know, kind of using the ocean for play and food. And got exposed to body surfing when I was four uh, by my dad and little beach break stuff and just with my hands out in front of me and then learn how to hold my breath and then get out in front of the soup. When I started, the guys that were lifeguards, they were, you know, free divers, you know, surfers, you know, distant paddlers, you know, just kind of more like ocean kind of water guys. I like body surfing better. I like being in the tube. And so it seems like when I board surf, I'm not in the tube as much as when I'm body surf. You know, things go bad, you don't have a board that you're dealing with. <laughs> when the body of things go bad, you know, I just go through the back. But um, the more you keep your body out of the water, the, the faster you can go. You need to cover more ground as the waves get bigger. So as the waves get bigger, you kind of have to develop another skill set on how to get from point A to point B. Well, I kind of got interested in guarding when I was living on the uh, North Shore of Oahu in the early 70s, uh, taking care of some papaya and banana trees. And I bumped into a guy that um, was using the byproduct from kelp. They were helping harvesting that kelp out in the Hoya. Kelp that grows in the Hoya out here can grow in like 60 feet of water or more. And so, you know, he showed me a, a list of all the micronutrients in the macrocystis, the kelp that grows out here in the deeper water. And we had zinc, magnesium, boron, and this big list of trace minerals. So I started getting kelp and uh, I'll chop all that stuff and chop the leaves up. And I heard you don't have to rinse it, but I do. And I, chop it up and I get it in a container about this big and then rinse it and then I put that in a 32 gallon trash can and um, use maybe this much in a five gallon bucket of that solution and dilute that with the water and that's what I water my vegetables with and it uh, stimulates them to grow and makes them taste sweeter. Plants really love it and I incorporate that in when I'm uh, planting. I'll dig a hole and throw compost in it, some organic fertilizer and some of this, some of the kelp and use the kelp tea to, to water them with and it does pretty good things, you know, makes everything grow really well and tastes really good. A lot of good stuff with the ocean, you know, fun, fun in the ocean, uh, livelihood, food, and then gardening, it's, you know, it's good working with the soil, um, don't need to go to the gym, you know, dig in, turn compost, you know, work up a good sweat, and get something to eat, and it's, um, Good continuity with nature. It's a good nature hit. You know, living in the city, you know, having the ocean and you know, in the garden. It you know keeps you keep you in touch with what's important and all that. So, uh, got lucky on a lot of levels.